We're doing more painting and lots of it. Will I be able to complete all of it and finally progress on reassembling this beast once and for all? So join me on even more painting adventures. Hopefully we can get to the end of it in this one. It's a lot of work, so let's go. After the massive amount of paint inventory woes in the past episode, here it is folks, the holy grail of gray paint. This is it right here, I have it, the paint gods have smiled upon me. I don't have a ton of commentary because this episode is basically me just painting all of the things that I couldn't get to in the last episode. I didn't really think I was going to be able to make this video this week. I was scrambling and going to have to show you guys some other projects I've been working on because I still didn't have that dark gray primer I was waiting on even though I did order it online but unfortunately the seller shipped it to me with SurePost. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it's when somebody ships something with UPS but then UPS just hands it off to USPS and it is the most inefficient on both carriers and it just takes forever. To me SurePost just stands for surely this post is not going to get to you anytime soon. So on Friday I'm paying off my credit card and I'm checking all of my charges and I see that the hardware store that said they had this in stock and I went to go pick it up and then told me they didn't have it actually charged me for that. Even though I had prior emailed them and told them that hey you guys didn't have this to pick up so please refund my purchase. So since I had to call them anyway I figured I might as well just check again maybe out of a miraculous event they were able to carry this paint and somehow they have it and guess what they actually did. But I was still extremely skeptical just because I have been everywhere trying to find this can of paint including the place that I was calling again. So the guy assured me that they had it. I told him I don't believe you and then he said well I'm looking right at it and I said I will barely believe you. So I went there and he had it and everything was great. And I have never been so happy to procure a can of paint before in my life but that really meant that I could finally progress on this project and I am super excited to finally be able to be done painting and to move on, start building it, reassembling, and finally be able to ride it. So here I am painting all the things that I couldn't get to in the last episode and I even go over a few of those because I was trying to make them look as good as I possibly could. So please enjoy.
Here I am just throwing on the final finishing touches and clear coat to the kickstand, which is the last piece that I do have to paint. This paint job was inspired by the one I threw on this model build, which I have documented on this channel. So if you're interested, please check it out. So far, I am very happy with how all these pieces are turning out. And this is just one of the examples of kind of this 3D effect that I'm getting with the stencils and just spraying different colors and different layers. And as you can see, it really does give a pretty cool effect. It's not super precise or perfect by any means, but it does go to show that you don't need a bunch of crazy equipment or expensive paints to get a paint job that is at least very unique looking. A lot of people might think that the splatter effects from the lighter colors would be a mistake that you wouldn't want there, but I actually really like the effect. To me, it brings so much more dynamism and chaos into something that is otherwise just not as interesting interesting. I think it looks really cool. I don't go into any of these paint jobs knowing what I'm going to do or where I'm going to lay these stencils. It all just kind of happens in the moment and you're going to get some areas that look way better than others and that's just part of it. The other cool thing about camouflage patterns is that if you don't like a portion of it, you don't have to start over and redo everything. You can just layer up and go over that part you don't like until you make it how you want it. I am really happy with how this paint job came out it really couldn't have come out that much better i could have spent so much more time trying to nitpick all the little pieces i didn't exactly like but i think overall it came out really really good a big part of me wanted to leave the frame exactly how it was and just clear coat over it almost like a patina where you could see all the welds and the heat zone from the welds i thought it looked really cool just like that but i really wanted to finish this one off i'm definitely going to do a build where I show things and have it look a lot more raw. I do like that look as well. At this point we are pretty much fully done with painting. There are a few little odds and ends, some nuts and bolts that I need to paint but I'm not going to dedicate too much video for those. For the most part all the painting is done and I am very excited to start reassembling in the next episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. I'm really curious on how you guys think this turned out. Would you do anything different? Do you like how it looks? Is it too busy or chaotic? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. We are getting closer to completion every day that passes and I am super excited for the next episode. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.